can. New tonight, there is a push to turn a former home improvement store into a community center. The site in question is the old Menards building that sits on Pendleton Pike in East 38th. 24 Hour News 8's Julian Grace live now here with who is behind this plan. Julian? Well, Dave, it's a big plan, and his name is Darius Ross, and he has a rather ambitious plan, but it's a plan he believes is worth it. We've seen the crime scenes, going down 25th and the mayor Houston. interventions, Stand by and, keep and even those donning a vest, all in the name of crime prevention. It will be called uh, Our Youth Matters. But now we're seeing something else. It's a vision from a man named Darius Ross, and he set his sights on this abandoned building on East 38th. The 27-year-old wants to take this empty space and turn it into a community center. The community is supportive. Uh, we've done a petition. Uh, we already raised over 5,000 signatures, so uh, right now we're just campaigning. Ross's vision has taken him to the streets before. He started the Ross Foundation to serve low-income families and teens. Recently, his efforts were awarded through a crime prevention grant. And then on June 10th, he will hold a peace rally. It starts with the community leaders. Uh, I think we need to come together and show solidarity and have a domino impact on our city. But will it be enough to decrease scenes like this? Maybe, maybe not. But Ross is willing to give it a try. And if you ask him why, he reflects back on his past. I'm a perfect example of hope. Uh, I grew up on 42nd and Post. And, uh, I changed my life. I did a complete 360 uh, all around. So when people say they don't believe in hope, I'm like the living proof. Now only time will tell if Ross's vision will become true. Well, that's not all. If you would like to learn more about the Ross Foundation and how you can help just log on to our website at wishtv.com. We have all the information spelled out right there for you. Julian Grace, 24-hour news at 8.